Hey everybody, it's a great morning here in Campbell River. The sun is so bright there, I can see I'm getting a glare all over the place. But uh, as you can see there, the ocean is just gorgeous. And uh, maybe I'll tip my hat back, you can see my face. No. Oh well, anyway. Hey, I thought I'd take a sec and talk to you about something that's, that's a really interesting subject. And that's about God raising up secular prophets, secular reformers. And uh, what's, that, what's that about? Well, what that's about is how God puts his hand on someone, even if they don't know him, even if they might not even be righteous sometimes, and he'll use them for his purposes in the world. And uh, I see a lot of that going on. You got to check out the stuff in the news and then ask yourself, who is God touching? What's he doing? What's he using? And uh, I think back in the Bible about the stories of um, Cyrus, you know, he was prophesied by Isaiah hundreds of years before he showed up. King Cyrus was the king of the Persians and the Medes that um, conquered Babylon. Now Babylon got raised up Nebuchadnezzar to uh, go and uh, overthrow Israel and, and Jerusalem because of their wickedness and unrighteousness. Then God brought uh, uh, the uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and Daniel into place, and Daniel oversaw the province of Babylon where the God's people were captured. He put it all together, and, and that's amazing. But Nebuchadnezzar was used by God, even though he's this idol worshiper, remember? He has this great statue created of him, and he wants everybody to worship and all of that. Anyway, here comes Cyrus. He's overthrown. Uh, he overthrows Babylon, and, and, and Nebuchadnezzar's wicked uh, grandson who uses the uh, gold vessels from the temple to toast his gods and then the writing comes on the wall, the finger of God on the wall, you know, uh, you've been weighed in the balance and found wanting. And that very night, that very night, uh, the Medes and the Persians, Cyrus the king, conquers, overthrows the impenetrable Babylon and, uh, and it's over. It's over just like that. Now, What's interesting is Isaiah prophesied about Cyrus. He, he says, uh, I knew you before, before you were born. In the womb I knew you. I called you by name. And it must have been Daniel as an old man maybe showed Cyrus these prophecies about him. And Cyrus, moved by God, pays the way for the people of God, go back to their land and rebuild. And all of that starts up. You know, it's amazing. Secular prophet. Secular reformer. We got some of that going on in our culture today. One of the guys that I've been watching a lot of here in Canada is Pierre Polyev, leader of the Conservative Party. And the, there's just something on him that is like the hand of God's working with him. And uh, I was watching a video the other day and I, how he talks about Canada, the vision for Canada and for Canadians and who we are and what we are and, and uh, good, solid, wholesome, righteous things. Now he's not going off talking about God and faith in God. I think he might be a Christian. I don't know a lot about him. Uh, but um, he's not going to say that, of course. Uh, the media come after him and roast him. But what I see is he's got an anointing working from God in his life where he's a reformer in Canada. He is stirring up Canadians to think in a reformation way, to think and establish the things that are good way, to uh, not go the woke way, to get back to basics, to think family and communities and friends and, and loyalty and honesty and the good things and, and good government, you know. I see a reformer. I remember seeing this kind of a feature when I first noticed Donald Trump back, what, 19 or 20, 2015, I guess it was. And uh, I kept hearing about this guy. He was in the primaries and wanted to be candidate for president and never liked him when I saw him on TV. He seemed to be bombastic and everything else. But he would survive over and over again. All the attacks that would come against him that would have taken out any other candidate because they had their plans for who they wanted. And I started noticing, I thought, what's going on here? And as I watched this repeat again and again and again, because until he became the candidate, I thought, this can't be anything except the hand of God at work here. What's going on? So the question I've got for all of you out there is, who do you see, even if they're secular, even if they don't know God, maybe sometimes even unrighteous, who is God 
using and touching. Remember, he even hardened Pharaoh's heart so that he could bring his judgment onto Egypt and get glory in, in overthrowing, the Bible says, the gods of Egypt. That's how God works. It's pretty amazing. And so I get looking and I'm seeing, what's God doing? What is God doing in our world today? Who do you see him using? I'll tell you what, if you open your eyes, I've got a whole other pile of names I can name. Some, some of those names I might go, you might go, oh, no, 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 no way, no way. And so I'm not going to share them because I'm thinking that would turn you off. I want to just get you turned on to the idea. And then you pray about it. You start to ask God about it and say, Lord, show me your secular prophets. Show me your reformers that you're raising up today. Anyway, good to see you. And, uh, well, tune into the radio station, why don't you? I come on at 4 o'clock with my afternoon show weekdays, 4 p.m. Pacific, spiritfm.ca. Blessings in Jesus' name.